So, so the righteous will have a shield around them, and the righteous will be favored by God. So God will give preferential treatment to the righteous. So then the question is, is our Christians automatically considered righteous? Hmm. So the righteous get the favor from God. Does being a Christian automatically include you as the righteous? Yeah, I say yeah. Okay. So Romans 4, 5 through 8 says, But to the one who does not work, but believes in him who justifies the ungodly, his faith is credited as righteousness. Just as David also speaks of the blessing of the man to whom God credits righteousness apart from work. So it says, but to the one who does not work. So what does that mean? So is it talking about somebody who's unemployed? No, it's not unemployed. It's, or like the one that how do you say, does not do their part. Mm. What's, what's talking about the work so it's, it's uh, you know are we saved by grace or are we saved by works oh, okay. so saved works meaning following the law oh, well, yeah. obedience. So be, obedience, yeah. obedience to the law, to yeah, the so law. doing the ten commandments yeah, not, yeah. not sinning Those, that's the work so it says to the one who does not work but believes in him who justifies the ungodly so who is it that justifies the ungodly the righteousness. Well, so the ungodly, so justified meaning you're just, yeah. you are not guilty of anything, mm -hmm. but they're ungodly, so they're not just. But so who is it that makes Jesus. the just? Yeah, Jesus. Jesus makes sense, yeah. So, so the one who does not work but believes in Jesus, his faith is credited as righteousness. Just as David also speaks to the blessing of the man to whom credits righteousness apart from works. Blessed are those whose lawless deeds have been forgiven and whose sins have been covered. Blessed is the man whose sin the Lord will not take into account. So it says, the person who doesn't do the work, so the person who still sins but believes in Jesus, his faith is credited as righteousness. So it's like when they have those car commercials. They say, you want to buy a car? You, don't, you have bad credit? You got a job? Your job is your credit. Mm -hmm. yeah. So your job is your credit. They're saying, even if you have bad credit, that if you have a job, we'll treat you like you have good credit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they're saying, even though your credit doesn't qualify you for the loan, no. the fact okay. that you have a job will let that qualify you. So your job is your credit. So this is saying your faith is your righteousness. Oh. So it's saying even the person who sins, who commits the lawless deeds, who is still sinning, their faith is counted as righteousness. So it's saying that because you believe in Jesus, God, you're counted as righteousness whose sins have been covered. And blessed is the man whose sin the Lord will not take into account. So it's saying because you have faith in Jesus, the sins you commit, God won't take those into account. So it'll be the same as if you didn't sin. So your faith is counted, is credited as righteousness. So it's just like your job is your credit, your faith is your credit, is your righteousness. So it's saying that you are righteous if you believe in Jesus. Because your sins will be forgiven. I mean, that's the only way you can have eternal life. Because you need to be righteous to have eternal life. But we've all sinned, but mm -hmm. the faith makes it as if we didn't sin. Mm -hmm. So it's saying that we are righteous. Christians are righteous. And so before we saw that, okay, the righteous are favored. And so this is saying Christians are righteous. So then we can say that, okay, Christians are favored. But then some would argue that there's two types of righteousness. There's positionally righteous and there's relationally righteous. So positionally righteous means because of my status, my standing, I'm righteous, which is Christianity. 
because I'm a Christian. I have the status of a Christian, so I'm righteous. Relationally righteous meaning because of my behavior, I'm righteous. Mm. So you can possibly be, you can be positionally righteous, but have a strained relationship with God because of sin. So an example would be if you had a, a son and you told your son to take out the trash before you got home. And you get home and you see the trash isn't out. And then you walk in and you see him in his room playing video games. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you say, why didn't you take out the trash? He says, oh, I forgot. For the twelfth time. <laughs> so, <laughs> play the video games. so he's still oh, your yeah. son. Yeah. So being your son, he has favor from you. Being your son, you love him. Being your son, you're going to make sure nothing happens to him. Right. Being your son, he has a special favor treatment, a favor position. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. But at this moment, there's a strain in your relationship. Mm -hmm. So that wouldn't be the best time for him to say, can I have a new bicycle? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. 